What skills get you promoted in 2024? Have you felt the sting of being passed over for promotion? You worked hard, you have all the skills and yet that recognition just slips through your fingers. I've been there, both as an employee as well as an executive making some of those tough promotion decisions. It's not all about hard work. In today's competitive environment, it takes more than dedication. I've spent over 20 years in the corporate environment and in those 20 years, I dive deep into the core of what it takes to climb the ladder. It's not rocket science, but some of those skills are often overlooked. So in this video, I look at the three skills that get you promoted fast. And we are not only looking at why those skills are important, but also concrete steps that you can take today. Starting with business acumen. First, by understanding the mission and vision of your organization, you are better equipped to align your own work with that objective. And by that, you become a valuable asset to the organization. Business acumen also allows you to make informed decisions on how to best allocate resources, be it time, money or manpower. And that helps the organization to save time and money. And finally, employees with strong business acumen are more likely to be considered for leadership roles. So what can you do to build those skills today? Step one, understand and study your organization. Go straight to the company's website and go to the section that reads mission and vision. I know you probably avoided that part of the website. So did I at the start of my career. It always sounds so vain and unrealistic. But what it will help you to do is understand how your objectives align with those of the company. The more you know, the better you can align your efforts. Step two, network and learn. Meet with colleagues from other departments, attend company seminars, sign up for industry events. The more you engage with others, the more you understand about various other functions in your industry. Step three is analytical thinking. Hone those skills by starting to analyze reports, look at trends, practice making data-driven decisions in your daily tasks. It's the small steps that pave the way for big insights. The second skill we talk about is strategic acumen, the art of planning for the future. Strategic thinking allows you to adapt to new circumstances and seize opportunities. And that is exactly what helps your company to stay ahead in the market. Effective strategic thinkers are also problem solvers. They can identify and address issues before they become obstacles. Let's break it down again into actionable steps that you can take today. Stay updated on industry trends and competitor activities. Knowledge of the market landscape equips you to contribute innovative ideas that align with your company's strategic direction. At this stage, some of you may say, hey, I'm an accountant or a salesperson or a technology officer. Those skills don't apply to me. And this is exactly why they are overlooked. You are right, those skills may not apply to your job at hand. But if you are eyeing that promotion, I promise you, those skills will become essential sooner than you think. And why would your company want to promote you if they haven't seen signs that those skills are already within you? Exactly. Okay, we covered market trends. The second step has to do with collaboration again. Foster collaborations within your team and across departments. Participate in brainstorming sessions. The more you practice that skill, the more you will increase your strategic thinking as well. And third, embrace change with a positive mindset. Companies love adaptable employees, people who can make transitions smoothly. Your flexibility in the face of change will demonstrate your strategic capabilities. If you get value out of this video so far, do me a favor and hit that like button. I've just recently seen how much of a difference it actually makes to video performance. And I love talking about those topics here on the channel. And yeah, your like gives me a little bit of feedback. So thank you for that. Now, the final skill can be one of the hardest for many of us. And I'm talking about financial acumen, the ability to understand and manage financial matters. Financially astute employees, they handle budgets more efficiently. They also make sure that projects stay on track and on time. Those are capabilities that are highly valued by employees. Understanding financial statements can also help you identify potential risks early on. And if your decisions demonstrate that you helped protect the company's financial standing, it is a strong selling point for your promotion. So how do you enhance your financial acumen today? Start with the basics. Start learning about balance sheets and cash flow reports and budgets. Online courses and tutorials can be incredibly helpful. Second, 
Practice budgeting. You don't have to start at work. You can start with a budget at home because managing that budget will showcase your financial capabilities. Third, connect with financial experts within your organization. Not everyone who is a financial genius makes it to the very top of the organization. But in my experience, those who are in charge of financial matters always have the ear and great relationship with the CEO and other executives. So building a relationship with those and understanding also a little bit more about the decision making processes at higher levels will help you in your own journey. Let me know in the comments which of those skills you want to focus on first. Of course, there are also other skills that can help you advance in your career and I talk about those in the video over here. Have a great day and see you next time.